If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon for more videos. Peace out, guys. Hey, guys. I'm Mikey. I'm back here for another video, guys. Welcome back to another episode of my daily subscriber team builder episode series. Let's get started right away, guys. In order to enter the series, as you can see on the screen, comment down below what's on, what you want on offense, what you want on defense. Do you want a budget squad or max coin squad? Subscribe to the channel. The more information you give me, the better, pretty much. You can go so in-depth on every single position. And I love it when I see you guys comment down below. I have some people who commented, and they literally went through every single position and said, like, quarterback, I want throw power. Running back, I want trucking. Wide receivers, I want, you know, catching. I want speed, and I want this guy. I want this guy to be six foot three or above. You know, lineman, I want a run blocker, but I want my right tackle to be a pass blocker, you know. My defensive lineman, I want my linebackers to be good block shed, but I want my linemen to be fast. Guys, you can go pretty much as in-depth as you want to when it comes to commenting down below for these team builds. Because again, I personally, I don't know you personally, so I, if I'm creating your team, I want to know as much as possible about you. So with that in mind, well not about you, but about how you play Madden. So with that in mind, guys, today we're going to be looking at uh, four different teams. And how I'm doing this pretty much is if you, you could probably guess this if you actually like uh, are following along with everything. But so last video, everyone who commented last video will be in tomorrow's episode uh, for the team build. So for example, you know, this uh, this video today was actually for not yet last episode, but the episode for that. And we covered everyone. Now, last uh, again, last episode will be tomorrow. This episode you see here will be for the next day. So it's going to be like in order, as you guys can tell. So it's like, you know, uh, the pretty much two days after the episode is released is when the team builds will come out for that episode. So again, tomorrow will be this episode. Uh, today will be last episode, so keep that in mind. Hopefully that made sense, guys. Let's get right into it, though. Starting off for Deployed, my man Deployed here. He said, and again, this is another example of he literally went right into exactly what he wanted, and this is exactly what, you know, uh, actually, wait. Let me see if I can find Deployed. Oh, no, no, you know, he did go in exactly what he wanted, but this is another example of exactly what I'm talking about, guys. So what he said was, I want a heavy 4-3, a uh, run heavy offense, 4-3 budget, so he wanted a budget squad, he runs a 4-3 defense, and he said, this is actually something you can do also, is he wants Jimmy Graham. He said, I must have Jimmy Graham. So I'm like, okay, you know, we'll start off with Jimmy Graham. He also said he had rookie premier for net, so I'm going to put 78 overall for net in here. Imagine him as rookie premier, but that's another thing. If you guys have rookie premier players, loyalty players, you know, if you want a free base elite player, I saw someone actually comment and said, you know, I want th this certain base elite, and then, you know, not base elite, but this certain free elite, and you kind of walk around that, and that's something that, you know, I definitely will do. And he also said, I have loyalty keekly. So again, imagine this as loyalty uh, Keekly, and then he said he uh, go uh, Deion Sanders. So with that in mind, guys, this is what his team looks like. Again, you can do the rest he said. So we're starting off four three defense. We're gonna start off with some speed. I can't click on these guys, but we're pretty much looking at speed, power move, finesse move, and strength as that defense lineman. Linebackers, we're looking at zone and speed with all three of these guys will consist of. Uh, free and strong safety, I looked at speed, corners, um, he did say, actually he did not tell about his corners, but I looked at speed and man and zone coverage. Looking at his offense, offensive line wise, he did say he likes to do one heavy offense, so obviously all these guys consist of really good run blockers. His uh, backup tight end, I have a good run blocker with, of course, he said he won Jimmy Graham to start. Um, Leonard Fournette at halfback, I have Aaron Rodgers free elite at quarterback. And then, of course, we're looking at his wide receiving core being very, very nice speed and run blocking ability. So with that in mind, guys, let's go on to the next guy here. Let me actually open up in a new tab. We got Mr. Matty. Cannot say his last part of the name, but he actually went in-depth on what he wanted. And again, this is exactly what I love to see because the more in-depth you go, guys, the easier it is for me to build exactly what you want. He said he wanted a pass block heavy O-line. He wanted a run blocking tight ends. 
He wanted one speed receiver in J.J. Nelson. Well, he didn't say exactly one, but one speed receiver, which I chose J.J. Nelson. And then three catching wide receivers, which Russell Shepard, Lee, and Cam Meredith, very good catching receivers. Uh, he also said he won a elusive running back, Deion Lewis. Um, a mobile quarterback, Marcus Mariota. And, of course, he didn't say anything about his fullback, but I just chose a really good one-blocking fullback. So, with that in mind, now defensively, he said he wanted 3-4 man corners with decent speed. So, all these guys have about, let's say, 85 to 87 speed. Um, he said that he wanted block shed type linemen. All focus on block shed right here. And then he said he wanted big hitting strong safety. I believe Pryor has like 85 hit power. Um, free safety, uh, what's it called? He said coverage free safety. Um, pass rushing outside linebackers, Kendricks and Marsh. And then he said he wanted uh, two decent zone user middle linebackers, Wilson and Anthony Hitson. I would say his last name. And he said budget type team. So he wanted a budget squad. So again, guys, make sure you clarify that. If you don't want a budget squad or you want a, bu if you want a budget squad or you want a, a max coin squad. Max coin squad, you know, if you want that, we I would definitely show you a lineup what that looks like. Uh, but again, a budget squad doesn't mean it's too cheap. This team, day one, will probably go for like 25, 30, 40,000 coins. So it's not like it's too cheap. It just, you know, it's just not going to be as expensive. All right, guys. Sorry for the quick cut, but I actually forgot somebody. So I had to go back and cut this video and actually complete, uh, create the lineup for them. So my bad on that. This guy's lineup is going to be the, uh, the crazy sports dude. And he's actually the one I was talking about who went really in-depth and was really, really awesome with his team. So what he said was... Uh, quarterback, he wanted uh, throw short and speed, and that's why I go went with Carson Wentz. He said mix of speed, trucking, and caring, and uh, I actually went with Leonard Fournette. Now he said choose uh, one of your, uh, sorry, add in your choice of team elites and one of the five goats. So for example, um, not Leonard Fournette, my bad. Um, who did I say? Not, I mean, I didn't mean to click on Leonard Fournette. Uh, who I would click on is I would honestly just choose one of the base elites of running backs. In all honesty, I'd probably go with Jordan Howard or David Johnson. That's actually what I was thinking. I wanted to leave it up to you, my man. Uh, I would choose David Johnson or go with um, Jordan Howard. Or who else is the base elite running back? Hang on, guys. I forget who else is the base elite running backs. Pretty much any running back with the trucking you know, and speed and stuff like that. Again, the only ones I can think about right now is going to be Jordan Howard or um, David Johnson. I, I know I'm missing someone. DeMarco Murray might have some good stats. Uh, Zeke Elliott is just not going to have the trucking ability that I would go with. But any of those base running backs, just pick your favorite with that one. So that's why I, I didn't mean to click on left for net, but that's why I, I kind of had him there as a reminder. Like, okay, tell him, you know, go for a base elite running back. Not a base elite, a free elite running back. Uh, John Brown, Don Terrio Inman, and Marvin Jones. You said you like to have a uh, speed, run block, and route running. And these three guys, speed, uh, route running, and run block. And then you said tight end. You like the same concept, speed, route running, and run block. And that's going to be Kobe Fulliner and Anthony Fasano. You said your O-line, you wanted one block in awareness. So I worried about one block in awareness for this offensive line. Very nice line in my opinion. The GOAT I went with was Ray Lewis. Obviously, that's the one I think is going to be the best to go with. Uh, you said for uh, safeties, you want speed, tackle, and zone. So I did that for your safeties. Cornerback, speed, and tackle. Um, linebacker, speed, block, shed, and tackle. I actually didn't do a second middle linebacker, but... Um, do you want a 4-3? Th oh, you say you want a 4-3. So I didn't do a second male linebacker, and the reason why is because you want a 4-3. Most of the time in a 4-3, there's only one, well, all the time in a 4-3, there's only one middle linebacker in the field at one time. Normally, the second male linebacker does not come in, uh, come in unless that first middle linebacker is tired. So in all honesty, I'd probably just go see what you can find cheap option 
day one as a backup middle linebacker. This just has some nice speed. You don't really have to worry about too much when it comes to that position. So that's another reason why I did not go with that one. Uh, you said you want your defense lineman to have speed and block shed. Now, he, Fowler has really good speed and block shed. Vinny Curley has good speed. His block shed is kind of low. And the reason why is because after, like, right end wise, there's not many really, well, one thing, the fastest right end with any kind of good block shed is, like, I believe, like, 68 speed. So with that in mind, you know, I kind of had to go with Vinny Curley. He still has 72 block jet, which isn't bad, but his speed's at 77, which is pretty nice. You said you did tackles. You wanted to go with strength. So here's your team. Now, you did put kicker and punter. I personally don't do kicker and punter like with these team builds, but we will actually take a look at some kickers and punters and see what you can go with. Now, you said power, so honestly, you could have sorted by power. And actually, is there a kick power thing? Let me see something, guys. Yeah, so kick power, I would honestly just go with Brad Nortman. He has 76 kick power, and then uh, that's going to be a punter. And then Nick Novak has uh, 79 kick power. So that's who I got for you, my man. Hopefully you enjoyed the team. Hopefully exactly the team you wanted. Thank you so much again. Shout out to the crazy sports dude. That's what I'm talking about, guys, when it comes to, like, you know, leave comments about what you want me to create. He went into every single position to tell me exactly what kind of team he wants. Because, again, I've never seen the crazy sports dude play Madden. I don't know, you know, how he likes to run the ball. I don't know what kind of receivers he likes. I don't know all that kind of stuff. So the more you give me, the more I'm able to really help you out, guys. Uh, next guy we have here is going to be, um, I believe, yeah, Logan Wood, 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 if I could say his name. So this is actually someone who said... Uh, everyone so far has said they wanted a budget squad. He said he wants a big amount of coin squad. So this is what a big amount of coin squad looks like. Now, quote, day one, this might, this team will probably go for around a million coins. Maybe less than that. Uh, probably about like, uh, I'm thinking because this guy right here is going to be like 125k. Uh, Rob Gronkowski is going to be a good amount. I would say probably about 700,000 coins day one. Uh, but with that in mind, you did say you want a big amount of coin squad. Uh, you can actually, if you want to, guys, you can kind of say a hybrid coin of a squad. So meaning like, you know, you don't want it to be like all gold. You want some elites in there. You can specify that in your comments, guys. You could say like, hey, I want some elites with you know the fact of some gold and stuff like that i don't want to spend too much coins but i want you know some positions i want to you know kind of go on the uh i want a ball on some positions but he said i want to run heavy offense four three defense big amount of coins and he subscribed thanks so much my man for subscribing uh but this is what the squad looks like again a run heavy offense uh again with a four three defense so this is what i got for you my man hopefully you enjoyed this squad Hopefully exactly what you wanted. Um, got Flex with Cox in the second middle line. Oh, second D tackle. And again, this is what the squad I got for my man. Now, the last guy we have here is going to be... I don't even know how to say your name, bro. So, I'm just going to call you N. Because your last name is... Your last part of your name is N-N-E-N-N. -N -N. So, I'm just going to call you N. I don't know how to say that, but... Um, this is actually a team you said you said you wanted a 4-3 defense run heavy short throws. So this is a run heavy 4-3 defense um, short throws. In my opinion, very, very nice squad. Very, very nice squad. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. And you subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new, guys. Because, again, this is a daily series on my channel now. Subscribe with Team Build Episode Series. And it's for Madden 18. So, obviously, you know, it is even more exciting that we're in Madden 18 now. And it's going to be a fun time. So, also, guys, real fast, my name on my head is uh, Hulk Hulk123. So, if you guys, like, ever see, like, That Muck Gamer on my head, I don't know if... I think someone else has That Muck Gamer. I believe I have the name That Muck Gamer YT. I don't know for sure or not, but I believe I do because my Twitch. But with that in mind, Hog Hog 123 is myself. So, if you see that name, uh, then, yeah, that's me. So, just saying, I do have the logo, That Muck Gamer. So, with that in mind, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.